Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm recording a get ready with me with my sister, who Hi. just so happens to be my best friend. Hey guys, my name is Priya. As you, some of you may know me, my name is Glitterfish on Instagram, and I also have a YouTube channel. We'll link that somewhere here. But yeah, today we're just doing a get ready uh, sister edition and unboxing some makeup, mm -hmm. and she's gonna be answering some questions. you guys some questions on instagram you have some questions too and then we do, do. our <laughs> and then you do uh and then we're we've already got our foundation and base on because i don't know i felt like that was like boring yeah i mean <laughs> I it's feel, a long process right so. i feel like i'm blending foundation it's just very boring it's so, a journey we've got a lot of makeup here um a lot of makeup yeah i was like and uh we both just keep buying more just oh random God. stuff. <laughs> it's the emails that get me, okay? The emails, it's the text. I sign up for text messages and I get the little blurbs and that's, that's what takes all of my money all the time. So yeah, guys, grab a drink, some tea, <laughs> a matcha latte, you or a white cloth, tea. and uh, come join <gasps> us on this adventure. <laughs> okay, let's go. So let's start with, um, normally when I do my eyes, I just jump into my eyeshadow. I started doing eyeshadow first because I felt like when I did my brows, I got powder all over them and they started looking like crusty, so. Yeah, a little dry. <laughs> I don't do that. I I start with my face makeup and mm -hmm. then I do my eyes, so. No, same. Is this different for you? No, I mean, I do my foundation and everything first. Um, I've tried no. doing my eyes first and it just doesn't. Doesn't I, work. Yeah, yeah. like. I feel like you and me are the same. We like full coverage. We like to get all mm -hmm. up in the little creases. And um, I think my makeup today is just heavier than normal just because like we are on like camera. We've um, got a lot of bright light. Yeah, so. um, and maskini is real and ruining my life. So, uh, <laughs> you know, other than eye eyeshadow though, like my sister it does bomb eyeshadow. Like I can't. Oh, thank you. I can't <laughs> compete. I really can't. She just did a new video on these really cute uh, ColourPop is this Lunar New Year? Yes. Yeah, Lunar has it, 2021 palettes. You guys, these are really cute. So we might use these. Um, oh, really I've used it a few times. I'm so impressed. The eyeshadow. For the price oh, yeah. and we, we stand color the size color. of these pans. I'm just so impressed. I We might use those. Um, she also just did a video on Jeffree Star's new Supreme glosses. And y'all need to head over to her channel and check that out because she ordered like, how many shades did you buy? Like 12? <laughs> um, seven, like, seven, but <laughs> I was like, there, there are a lot. But I love nudes, so I'm probably gonna be wearing a nude in this video as well. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I don't know, I probably will wear a red lip because we're pretty polar opposite. But I literally left my house this morning and I had a box sitting at the door and I was like, what is this? <laughs> because I don't remember what it was. It's a um, package from Juvia's Place. Let me not stab I'm myself. excited to see that because. Um, I don't actually own anything from Juvia's Place, but I've heard it's really good. Juvia's Place. They always run these awesome, awesome sales. And of course they got me because they texted me that they were having like, you know, a 70 something percent off sale. So, ooh. So I picked up a highlighting oh gosh, brush. So I don't know what it's called, the JP Highlighting Brush one, but I like highlighting brushes like that are dense like that. I don't like fan brushes. So, and look how Can I put this purple. on before? You My can, brush. yeah. All right, That's guys. my favorite. While she's doing Shameless that, Shameless just... work plug. <laughs> um, Chanel Deep Pollution Mist. I got a loose highlighter in the shade Cleo. So it is looks like that. That's fun. You can both use that. And then this is what got me is because this eyeshadow palette was on sale. So that's it. The three items. And look at the palette. <gasps> Let me see the, the eyeshadow palette. Out. Open it up. It's called the Masquerade Mini. So they have like a gigantic version of it but this was the mini version it was on sale for nine dollars really nine dollars wow can y'all believe you that? cannot beat that Ooh. okay we have some bubble wrap <gasps> this is like oh. so pretty for spring oh my gosh hold on bring I, it in a little bit although i can't even see oh my god Okay, and then I also had a really huge Morphe order, which I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with like brushes and stuff, but I did get another palette. <laughs> I don't remember what, it looks like a mop palette. This is the 9C Jewel Crew. Do you wanna open this? I'm gonna open another one. Hmm? Oh, sure. And then I ordered another palette. <laughs> another one. <laughs> and this is the Make and Bank 18B. Oh, that's so pretty. 
Oh, okay, there we go. 18B palette. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I was like, I don't know why I bought this. I know exactly why I bought this. Because that is pretty. Mossy. Look at that green. Ooh. Tones down here. So I'm using Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown for my eyebrows. And okay, I'm using Anastasia. Oh my god. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our brows on so we don't look that crazy. But uh, <laughs> I'm, it, I have shade um, granite. It's like pure black, but I also have the dark brown one. Um, I, I can use both, but my hair is. Um, naturally really dark. This was actually really simple. I'm very sorry. This is all I do to my eyebrows. I just put the gel in and there's um nothing yep. on my brows and then gel and then I will clean them up, but that's all I do. So I did over pluck a little bit at the front, front of my eyebrows. So I usually just fill that in a little bit. I feel like everybody really wanted like a lengthy brow tutorial and I'm very sorry. Yo eyebrow tragedies. They've come a long way. Both of our eyebrows. <laughs> Look at this bad <laughs> here. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. This eyebrow. Anyway, I have an Anastasia concealer highlighter thing that I use. Uh, I only use this when I'm super lazy. Um, So I guess right now I'm really lazy. But I just don't really need to anymore. But I just kind of apply it if I need to like conceal and clean up. Like, I only really use this if my eyebrows are grown out and I need to, like, cover them. You know, I've never cleaned up around my eyebrows before, but I want to try it. I mean, it's not always necessary um, for people. Mm -hmm. On the note of eyebrows, I did get two <gasps> brow scissors. Um, One's kind of, like, curved and angled and the other one is a straight. But they were, like, $3 and I always use these in my kit for, like, lashes and whatever. So, other, like, what? boring things I ordered. Um, empty magnetic palettes from Morphe. They're empty palettes so you can click whatever you want in them. Um, these were, like, a dollar, you guys. Like, a dollar. I forgot to show you. Check them out. Where is... They're Morphe highlighter sticks. Um, they were, like, $3. But can I just say the packaging is so deceiving because, like, none of that, like, looks like this. So there's Define Me, So Worth It, and Illuminance. I'm gonna open this. But these are basically like crayons for highlighting. Look at that glow. There is a light. Give me that light shade. I'm gonna put it on under my eyebrow. Okay, you should put it on. I think Define Me is probably the Here. light. It, yeah, it's like peachy. Look at that. Okay, guys, these are so cute. These are the Lisa Frank Morphe Collection brushes. Yeah. <laughs> I got this for her for Christmas. Yeah, she got the whole Morphe Lisa Frank collection for me for Christmas. Oh my god. So this is the softest highlighter brush. I'm gonna dip into that Juvia's Place. What sh what was that shade called? Cleo. It's a loose highlighter palette. I hear so many good things about so, it. So I already have on highlighter, highlighter, but let's let's add more. <gasps> is it stunning? Look in the camera. Honestly, honestly, I paid seven dollars and cents. No for it. way. Oh my god. Much, much, much later. Oh my god, it's blinding. It's blinding. And notice where I'm holding my brush, guys. I'm holding it at the end because I don't want such a harsh line. Here, you have way too much control. Yeah. Back here, it should be like, you know. I should be holding it lightly. The crayons, here they all are. Oh my oh. god, that last one. Dude, give me that. So I'm gonna read my first one, um, and it says, um, have you ever considered being a Chanel fashion essay at some point? If you guys are new here or just don't really know me off like Instagram, um, I do work for a company called Chanel. So, um, but I work at a boutique and yeah, um, I've considered it because honestly, it'd be really fun to like help my clients out with like, you know, makeup and fashion. Like that would be so stunning. I'm just gonna try the highlighter too. <gasps> I think I put the wrong one on. Okay, first of all, this brush is so soft. It's so soft. Dude, this I brush put was the $5. Light, I put the light pink one on. <laughs> Where's the gold one? <laughs> Wait a second. You handed me the wrong one. That was the point. <laughs> 
sabotage. I'm kidding. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> so I will say yes, I've considered being a fashion essay, but honestly, like my um passion is like beauty. She and loves skincare. Beauty so and skincare. Um, it would be pretty fun though. I mean, I'm not if it was ever presented to me, I wouldn't like turn that down. Your favorite concealer for under eyes. Um, obviously Chanel Corrector Perfection. That's like my hands down all day, every day favorite. I also love the Jeffree Star concealer. Before we started filming, I just told her, she did. this is my favorite concealer right now. And I have like, is that a small sample size or trial? No, trial that's an actual size. <laughs> oh, um, I don't well, even know yeah. if they make it anymore. So but it's, the it's about this big, I can go get it, but it's your skin. Right? No, Dior Star. Me? Star or something? Oh no. I don't know. They're coming for Jeffree's <laughs> wig. Oh my God, they did have Dior Star foundation and concealer. Jeffree Star, sue them. So yeah, that's like currently my favorite. And then I love the shark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the worst. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh my God, I was like, the shaking. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oh yeah, oh, that's hands down tried yeah. and true okay i think i've decided i'm gonna i'm gonna use the new 18b palette and i'm kind of using like that top vanilla shade i have the colors it's called deposits mm -hmm. there's a shade called make it rain into change <laughs> money best way to take care of your skin in winter with the cold and drying artificial heat. Ooh. Oh, that's a really good question. That's um, a good question for me. <laughs> honestly, but I'm I have a dry sits. skin. Yeah, we're I'm oily to combo. She's dry. So, personally, um I use um a lot of like hydrating moisturizers, but sometimes I still have like dry flaky skin, especially I have the heat going 24/7. So it's a lot of dry air. Um, we do have a humidifier and just to kind of add moisture to the air, but if that's still not working for your skin, um, then honestly, you guys are gonna laugh or call me crazy, oh, but no. <laughs> use some Vaseline <laughs> because... <laughs> oh no. So that's parts my of advice. No, God, please, no, no, no. So Vaseline protects your skin, okay? So. When I have like really, really dry skin, like flaky patches everywhere, and I know I'm about to put on layers of foundation and makeup, it's just not a good combination. So what I like to do is I like to prep the skin with just a little bit of Vaseline or um, like a really emollient like moisturizer. Um, do you recommend one from Chanel maybe? Um, well, if you're really dehydrated, we have different textures, but um, ideally like just make sure you exfoliate, use a hydrating serum and do like a hydrating sleeping mask. Like I know you love the Hedra Camellia. Oh yeah, got, for um, sure. The Hedra Camellia repair mask, but I got her that. She likes anything thick and balmy, like, you know. So yeah, I'll, I'll do that too. And it is a sleeping mask, like she said, but I don't usually wear it like a sleeping mask. Yeah. I'll put it on like right before I do my foundation too. But anyway, back to the Vaseline thing. So um, <laughs> I just dab a little bit of it on my face flaky patches. Usually it's around my forehead or like around my nose and I'll just wipe it right away. So I don't leave a thick layer of Vaseline on my skin, but that's really what protects my skin and saves it. So my answer is hydrating serum. So I'm going in with this. My answer is, you know, color pop hydrating serum. So let's see. Next I have, what are your favorite brushes and how do you clean them? Which is a great question because I'm staring at my brushes here. Um, obviously I have a lot of Chanel brushes. Um, I do love Chanel brushes. I love uh, Royal and Langnickel make some awesome brushes too. They do. Those I are my love, favorite. Personally, I like their Omnia line. It's a lot more luxurious and softer. But honestly, I'll use a brush for anything like I mean, like any type of brush. I love this Anastasia brush. You can and never have enough brushes though. You really can't. I literally like, have what, about 50 brushes laying in front of me right now? Yeah. All the brushes. Um, I honestly just ordered duplicates. I ordered like one for me and one for my kit. So um, I love Morphe brushes and e.l.f. brushes. Um, who else? Oh, I like Sigma brushes too. Sigma has really good ones. All right, I'm gonna be using your Morphe um, what is this called? The 9C palette that you just unboxed. And so I got down my um, shade right there from the Lunar Has It collection. I'm gonna go in probably with this. Mm, let's go in with Chocolate Diamond right here. Right there. So how do you clean your favorite brushes? Oh, um, I have a Sigma um, 
big suction cup like silicone brush cleaning pad and I just use dish Dawn soap. They make a fragrance free version of the Dawn mm -hmm. soap. So I was washing my brushes with Dawn soap too, but I realized it was making them really coarse. Mm. So I changed it up to, you know, Target brand has their own um, body wash. Oh yeah. So I, I buy the one. unscented one. It's like $1.99 or $2.99 and it's like a huge like container, container of it. And I use that just for my makeup brushes and it doesn't leave them feeling like crunchy and hard after. Ooh, good tip. I actually have that body wash. Cause you don't want to dry out your makeup brushes either. If you use harsh chemicals like Dawn all the time, then you're taking the moisture out of the brush. Please share with us your fitness routine. What has worked and what hasn't? Um, This is a lengthy answer, but to keep it short, I work with a personal trainer and I'm done with her program, but I'm continuing to, you know, like teach myself and learn um, things about, you know, what I learned with my program. So I have specific workouts that I know that work for me, um, obviously that are targeting like my goals and you know, everybody's goals are different. So personally, like you can't really like spot reduce fat loss. So you have to train your entire body, but you can obviously train certain parts of your body on certain days. So um, I train legs three to four times a week. That's just my strong point. All my strength is in my legs. And I do train my upper body um, three times a week. So you can mix it's getting whatever. there. Yeah, I was like, it's, it's getting there. We're, we're earning pumps. Um, I think it's just, you wanna make sure that you have a really good diet and if you take supplements take the right supplements so what choice. hasn't worked for you then um i guess before i got my trainer um what didn't work for me is that i didn't really have scheduled workouts say like i didn't know what i was doing i would go to the gym and just like well first of all the number one issue is like people think you're supposed to do cardio for like an hour and do it but honestly cardio should happen after weights you should never do cardio first and then lift weights. So my main thing at the gym is I warm up for five minutes and that's fine if you wanna do that on like an elliptical or like a treadmill. But then I do weight training and um, then I do cardio at the end or depending on what day of the week I do hit. So yeah, it just, it's just to have like a little schedule down. And now I know what I'm doing. So Are there I, any supplements or any products that you bought that don't work for you? I don't remember what they were called, but I just know that mm, they have- Sure you don't. <laughs> I, there Drop was, the um, name. Drop it right now. I went to a vitamin shop. I really don't remember what the brand was called, but I just know that it had a high amount of niacin in it. And you remember I broke out and like- Oh my really gosh, yeah rash. guys. Actually that happened to my husband too. I broke out on a really bad rash and um, my ears, my elbows, my knees were like red on fire and super itchy. Oh my gosh. And it was so, it was so uncomfortable. Like I just, but you guys know that I love EHP labs. I love Vade Nutrition and I love, um, C4 is great too. I do like C4 stuff as well. It's just a little bit more intense. C4 is OG. Okay, next one says, what's your least favorite makeup brand and least favorite skincare brand? <laughs> Girl, my least favorite makeup brand is probably Too Faced. Okay, these palettes are great, but like they're more. Why don't you like Jared Baldino? Oh Baldino? Oh no. Um, can I just say these palettes are cheap and they're amazing? They perform well, but there's kickback. Listen, I try to take away the people from the brand, but sometimes people just do crazy things and don't even don't even come into the comments right now and be like Jeffrey Star this Jeffrey Star. I don't we don't want to hear, hear it. it. I don't want to hear it. You know what? Don't like, even try it. Can't relate. I would. I don't know. I don't really have a least favorite, but I think my least favorite skincare brand would have to be like Clinique. That can also Why? be my least favorite. Don't get me wrong. I like their lip mask and I like their Pep Start scrub, but um, I just feel like their skincare is outdated and like boring. Like. You know, I don't look <clears throat> at it and think, oh no, I need this Clinique products. <laughs> like, yeah, what about you? Do you have any? Um, least favorite um, makeup and skincare brand? A few moments later. That you just are like, <laughs> don't come okay. over here with that. Anything drugstore? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait a second. We don't, with you. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't. You don't? No, I don't. I, I, uh, yeah, you do. Don't lie. You Ooh. F with wet and wild. 
since when? <laughs> Name a wet and well product that you I- You have their loose highlighter over there right now! Oh, okay, Don't one exception. Me. Out of all of my makeup, that's like literally the only exception. So they came out with this Zodiac. Always lying to me. Why? You lying so much. Why? Why? Yeah. You've been called out. <laughs> It's a Zodiac. It looks just like this. It's it like a loose powder. Like that, yeah. It's a black um, component and it's got like all the Zodiac symbols on it. And I had to hunt everywhere for that thing. Mm -hmm. I found it in like a Walmart and they literally had one on the shelf. So I grabbed it so fast. Um, it was like $4. It's huge guys. It's probably the double the size of this though, but it's a loose powder and it's so gorgeous. I mean, it's the most beautiful highlighter. I just had to, but Literally, that's not only drugstore product I own. Name another one. Fine. I stand all the makeup. If I will, listen, I'll try anything. I don't know. I, I don't, it's, it has nothing to do with it being drugstore. It's just, it just doesn't perform for me. And I'd rather not spend uh, yeah, a couple of like, bucks here and there I when I like know it's just not gonna work. I anytime you have tried drugstore stuff, you always are disappointed. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. How do you stay motivated to work out? It's really damn hard, okay? Like, it's really hard. It's struggle. It's the struggle bus out here. But I will just say, I have to, I don't rely on free workouts, but they help me. They help me, like, they do help reach so my much. goals. And I recently have gotten my sister into, you know, like, doing free workouts and doing things like that. But that's what assists me the best. Um, and also, like, you're not doing it for anyone other than yourself. So like, if you really want to get fit and be motivated, like do do it for you, girl. Growing up Indian American. Oh, how is it? Yeah, I'm, I feel like we have to do a different video about that, right? <laughs> Punjabi problems. <laughs> Punjabi problems, brown people problems. Growing up Punjabi and Indian, I mean uh, Punjabi so, and in America, Americans. it's lit. I, I, it's I, lit. Honestly, I feel like growing up, we, when I was younger, I never really knew I was different than anybody. It, for me, personally- We were just like any, everybody else, yeah. Yeah, I think for me it took, I it came into realization that I was different in middle school. <laughs> so we both went to like a, <laughs> the same middle school and I feel like for me that's when, um, you know, like it was kind of like, oh, like where are you from like you know what race are you oh People yeah we just started that. getting a lot of uh comments on like our nationality mm -hmm. um where are your parents from like you look different like it just it was that age i feel in middle school actually it was when people started us. people would uh come up to us and start talking to us in uh spanish Ah, uh, yeah. And we and my sister would kind of like be like <laughs> and all the we boys don't speak were spanish like, but and then everybody would be like so then people so will what be are like, you? what are you? Because <laughs> I guess we don't look Indian. That's just, I, not my words, that's just what people tell me, believe it or not, still to this day. Like, yeah, but I growing just, up, um, Indian was lit because we always got bomb food. Bomb um, food. Bomb clothes, bomb, bomb jewelry. Clothes. <laughs> but our house smelt like sub G. <laughs> if you're not brown, you don't know. You but don't know that, that sub G going, life, bro. okay? You don't know that sub G life. That when you walk out of your house, sizzling. head to toe, like looking bomb diggity. You come out of your you bedroom, smell like Victoria's Secret. You come downstairs, smell like some hardcore tharka. You don't know about that. Bro. And then when your friends come over and they're like, what does that smell? Like, I can like, smell it all the way cooking? in the driveway. And all of my friend's parents would be like, is your mom cooking again? And we'd be like, it, yeah. It, it, it tasted good though. Listen. Our you're parents right. are so chill. Like yeah. our parents are so much fun to be around. Like they're goofy just like us. Our mom has fun really with thankful. us. Like, yeah. like we had really a really good childhood. Like our parents would take us to Disney World every year. I think, um, um, Universal every single year. I love it. We're multicultural. We've been to India a few times. Um, we've traveled around we India too. We went a lot when we were younger and then you got married there. Um, yeah, I actually cool. ended up getting married in India. Um, we went to Dubai a few times. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's really allowed us to like travel outside of, you know, here. So it's been lit. Really? You guys should try it in your next life. <laughs> What's your favorite Chanel skincare product? LeBlanc Foam Cleanser, Le Tonique. Yes. Solution yes. 10 Moisturizer. Deep Pollution Mist. Yes, anything from the Hydra Beauty line, I love Honestly, it. Honestly, I love all of it. Sublimage Eye Cream, mm, mm, mm. The <laughs> best. Um, Is this your liquid eyeliner? All of it. 
Well, it's wet and wild, so are you sure you wanna use it? <laughs> okay, next one, I have Chanel foundation for dry slash oily skin. Um, for oily skin, either you do Ultra Latente Velvet, which is like a liquid to powder texture, medium coverage, or Ultra Latente, which is medium to full coverage. Oh, damn, that's a mouthful. Satin, <laughs> satin finish. For, um, what is it, what, dry skin? Honestly, any of the other ones, just depends on the coverage you want. What about so. the Sublimage? The new Sublimage, l'essence des temps. <laughs> Hey. That's coming, girl. You need Spend that. rhymes in French now. Hey. Chanel rocks all day. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite part about your job at Chanel? The free shit. <laughs> no, I don't get no free shit no more. My favorite part about my job is helping people because I honestly wouldn't be working retail if I didn't like helping people. Aww. Um, Good person. Um, best eyelash curler. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't really curl my eyelashes, but I do use an eyelash curler sometimes, like in my kit when I'm doing makeup on like other people and clients. Um, <laughs> Chanel makes an eyelash curler. I used to work at Sephora and uh, for like three years, and um, there was one that was made for like deep set eyes that everyone kept buying, and I think Shuramura one was really popular. I don't really have a bias Shu on that. Amura? Shur Shuamura, yeah. Shuamura. Shuamura. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But uh, do you have a favorite? You wear falsies a lot. She wears false I wear lashes. false lashes and I do get um, eyelash extensions whenever I can. So um, yeah, I don't actually curl my lashes. They're pretty naturally curled. Uh, okay, it's not really a question. It just says hobbies with a question mark. Um, listening to K-pop. <laughs> okay. Dancing. Going to find um, Korean restaurants because we love Korean food. We're foodies, yeah. Well, we'll eat any kind of food, honestly. We'll eat anything, yeah, but we just love But Korean lately, food we're, we've been on like a Korean kick. Um, we love shopping at K-pop stores. First of all, you've been stores. on a Korean kick. I've stand all things Korean K-pop like for, for like years. 11 years, yeah. But um, we love it. What else? We love shopping. We literally just love going to Starbucks and hitting up every home goods store Every Hobby Lobby and every, every Target, below, every Target in like a twenty mile radius. Like whenever we're both free, that's all we do. <laughs> Next question I have: How many piercings do you have? Let me think about this. Hang on. Excuse me. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five, six, seven, seven eight, nine. I so I have nine. I used to have ten. So my eyebrow ring rejected where there's like a horrible scar there for it now. And then I do have my lip pierced. I just choose to take my lip rings um, or my studs in and out. So I have nine piercings. What about you? <laughs> mm, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven? <laughs> That's it. Um, so you guys, um, you guys need this lip liner in your life. It's KK Beauty. Oh, I have that KKW too. Beauty, sorry. And I have the the one in Nude 2.5. It's a little tad dark on me, but I love it because it really defines my lips. Oh, yeah. How many tattoos do you have? I guess you can go first. One, She's two, three, again. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Show your tattoos. Well, she has finger tattoos. They're 13, like in, in her finger. She's still counting. 16. Okay. 16? Well, I guess 10 is on your hands, right? Like I have a lot of letters. Um, I have a lot of finger and hand tattoos. I was never in a gang, but thank you for that. <laughs> okay, I think I have, um, we'll just count. I have this ghost on my wrist, which is a bad idea. I have my BTS tattoo. That's two. Because um, Friday the 13th cheap tattoos and I thought I was doing something with my life. I have some stars on the back of my neck. Um, do you? Yeah. What? Let me see. Look. Okay, Kat Von D. <laughs> Let's yeah. go. Oh, yeah. uh, that was on vacation. So that's three. Uh, I have a it BTS. Count if it's on vacation. Right. Um, I have a BTS finger tattoo at zero o'clock. My favorite song by BTS. Um, so that's four. I have a Chris Angel signature on my ankle. Five. And then I have my niece, which is your daughter. Her baby footprints on my. Calf. Everybody asks me if you're the mom. Basically, you guys, this color is really cool tone. Oh. You can have this. It's celebrity mm -hmm. skin, not for me, but I have celebrity skin in a liquid. The, his liquid lip, his Look at liquid this. velour lip. It is Look, cool. Not for me, boo. Mm, yeah. What one beauty item do you regret buying or wish you had bought? 
regret buying or wish I did buy it? <laughs> Nothing, I buy everything. <laughs> <laughs> I literally buy everything. Um, Facts. Um, I honestly <clears throat> buy everything. I was like, I don't, I don't ever miss out on products. What do you regret buying? Like what didn't work for you that you bought? Mm. This is hard for me, so maybe you can answer it better because when I was at Sephora, we got a lot of stuff for free, so I never really bought anything. But I do remember buying like um, a couple of like Urban Decay products. I bought like Ula Henriksen skincare one time, like when I was like a baby and like it shit didn't do anything for my face. I like their products now, but like back then I just didn't really care for that skincare. So I bought this, um, if you guys oh. are familiar with Fresh, <laughs> It's a brand, uh, Sephora carries it. I'm yeah. not sure if Ulta carries it, but. Um, I like I like yelled at her for buying this. So okay, so cool. yeah, when quarantine first started, I was like on this kick, cause I was like, okay, I'm not wearing makeup, you know, um, every day because we were just at home. So I was like, let me just do like a huge, like Sephora order. Let me just like buy all the skincare. And I had seen so many videos and a lot of reviews talking about the Rose and Hyaluronic Acid Deep Hydration Toner by Fresh Beauty. And I bought it, it was $45. Um, I did like a huge order. I bought like, you she know, spent 300. like $400 at Sephora and I was yeah. so mad at her. I was like, why aren't you asking me before you buy this stuff and, and or why aren't you like buying Chanel? But stuff like when, when I'm on, you know, when I've got like, uh, you know, something in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. So anyway, I, you know, did this whole order of all this like cool new products that everybody's been talking about all over YouTube and in the beauty community. Okay, so I'm halfway through this toner and I realized literally majority of it was all little rose petals or like rose, like the chunks the of little the chunks damn of the flower. Rose. Yeah, inside the bottle. So as you're using it and the amount is going down, when you flip it over to put it on your cotton, all you're getting is literally chunks of the little rose petals, which I thought was so stupid. Because at that point, when when you know you're using it or whatever, you can't even get any of the toner out anymore because it's being blocked by right. the Right. I could so, not more than half the bottles like this like old. So it's like this big and then all this was like rose. literally petals. So basically I only got like two months use out of it and then I had to Try. just throw it away and I was like whatever. Go so we still so. have this on Chanel.com, but they're actually one of my favorite lip products, but they're kind of like a liquefied version of Rouge Lord Velvets, but oh my gosh, this is all shaking. Um, they're called Chanel Lip Coods and I have on shade 956. I don't know what the shade's called, but you know, we're going for that bitten lip look a little bit in the middle. I'm not happy right now. And with this, so I'm not happy. Why? Okay guys, I removed that. I did not like the way it looked. Um, I'm gonna use Light Mauve 172 by Chanel. Oh, is that one of the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Rare Tender oh, Lips? it sure <laughs> is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what luxury items are on your wish list? Example, new beauty items you would like to try. Ooh, I was like, I like these questions. <gasps> Thank you for asking these. Um, I really wanna try some PMD products. I'm not a skincare, sorry, you said beauty products. I'm not talking about skincare, but PMD products. Just, I like, I need to buy a new steamer and stuff like that, but beauty products I'm excited about trying. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, sorry, I got so excited. I'm excited <laughs> for Hindash is coming out with this on makeup brand. Oh my God. Oh, this looks so much better. Oh my God, I See, feel alive again. You guys. <gasps> Chanel ne never fails you. What are some tips for someone who wants to work in luxury retail? Ooh, good question. Hmm. Um, well, you used to work retail too. I mean, it wasn't like a luxury retail, but it was still retail. And I also did as well, because we both used to work at Macy's. Um, I worked in men's fragrance, so I dealt yeah. with luxury brands, but. Yeah. I think some a lot advice. of, I think my advice is that um, in order to work for a luxury brand, you have to, you don't have a You have to have product knowledge. Yeah, and you have to have history. I guess sense. my advice is that um, if you don't have any past history, like don't go into like a boutique or a luxury store and be like, oh, like can I get a job? But you have no history. So, and if you're wondering how do you get like history, I would say like, you know, like I used to work at Macy's, I in cosmetics and I worked at a Chanel beauty counter, like things like that. Um, just get more, you know, start somewhere in the industry and do that. But 
Uh, tips for retail, like, you just gotta be ready. People have thick skin. It's really competitive. Yeah, it's competitive. It's catty sometimes. I mean, you just have to have thick skin because customers are not nice all the time. And you just gotta like, uh, I feel like if you're somebody that holds on to energies a lot, like just know that because people will come in for mm -hmm. like an eyeliner and they will dump their life onto you and you will literally feel like that's with so any job though. Crazy. Whenever you're dealing True. with a lot of personalities, True. you'll have that in any job. The number one tip I would say is product knowledge. Yeah. Know the products and know what you're talking about because you it'll make your anything. life so much easier. You can't sell anything if you don't know. I think our last question is, oh, you see. Okay, how do you manage your time so effectively? Um, so- I'm pretty sure this is geared towards her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was asked to me. Um, so I wake up super early in the mornings just to get things done. Um, I plan out my week ahead. I have like a uh, planner, a weekly planner. I have a daily planner and then I have a separate like monthly calendar. So I have to plan out my days, my weeks in advance. Um, and then, yeah, just waking up early. I go to sleep really late. So it's not like I get, Me you know, too. a ton of sleep or anything that I'm just like, yay. So rested. Well, no. like you have two kids, like, so you kind of like have to do these things, yeah. right? You know, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, and I just like to utilize my time. Um, and so, yeah, if I get get to wake up early and get everything done, and go to sleep late, knowing that I got everything accomplished that day, like I'm a okay with that. Even if I got mm -hmm. two hours of sleep, yeah. and I'm just like a really morning person. I think that helps too because in the mornings I'm not cranky or anything. I'm like I'm not like oh why do I have to do this? I'm just like right. hey guys. Alexa, play think, some trolls music. I think I picked that up from her, like trying to change my schedule and do things early too, because I obviously saw like how much she gets done in a day. And I was like, wow, like you have two kids, you take them to school, you drop them off, you come home, you cook and clean, you make YouTube videos, like you Aww. do all this stuff. And I was just like, how Telekinesis, those stop ways? it. Stop it, you. <laughs> That's me. Oh my God. Um, okay, guys, here's our final looks. We're done. We're done <laughs> after all this talking. I know. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll put most of the product descriptions in the bottom. And if you do want to know what we use for like foundation, things like that, like we'll link that below too. Like our base, we'll mm -hmm. link that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is Thank like you guys for asking all the questions. Yeah, that was I was fun. Like, thank you. That was really fun. I want to do it again. We can maybe do it over different topics. You guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Well, if you want to you know, on my Facebook, I have a Facebook. But Instagram <laughs> is where I'm predominantly more active. And then subscribe to my channel, please. Give me a like or a thumbs up because I can't get a day off to save my life. <laughs> where are my Rich Lux memes? Yes. Love me some Rich Lux. We'll shut up now. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks, I love guys. you guys. Thank Bye. You. Half heart. <laughs> Korean heart. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs>